This week is National Small Business Week, and we really wanted to highlight the importance of shopping small and shopping local here in the Treasure Valley. Today, we are joined by the owner of Craven's Candy, Debbie Giordano. Debbie, I mean, first and foremost, I know you said you're used to it, but this yeah. smells delicious. <laughs> uh, tell people that are watching at home more about your store. Well, we are a local neighborhood candy store. Uh, we carry, we make our own chocolates. We wow. carry all types of retro candy. If it's still being made, we try to bring it into our store. We have 24 flavors of awesome gelato. Oh. Um, it's just kind of a, a neighborhood gathering place. It's, you know, my husband and I grew up with local candy yeah. stores in our neighborhood, and we wanted to recreate that. I so. love it. When yeah. did you open that location? So we opened our latest location in Meridian just a year ago, March. Wow. Yeah. Congrats. And we're really happy to be there. And your first location is in Boise. In East Boise, and we opened that store 17 years ago. Wow, okay. So, yeah. so, so I'm sure there have been some challenges though, considering what's gone on the last few years with the economy. What are some challenges that you're facing as a small business owner right now? Yeah, um, you know, overall we've done really well because our community has supported us and we feel very fortunate about that. Um, but we, we also have the support of the SBA, SBDC, mm -hmm. um, to kind of help us navigate these times that are you know, unprecedented. Yeah. So, but we we've done fairly well. Um, yeah. Did you guys stay open during the pandemic? We did. I, I think okay. we closed for a, a little bit, but yeah. we pretty much were able to to stay open. And, and you just have to kind of readjust and be flexible. Yeah. And um, you know, it's it's a steep learning curve when you own your own business anyway. Yeah. So you're just constantly learning and adjusting. And I think that's how you're you can be successful. That's good advice. What made you guys want to open the second location? Um, it was always in the plans mm -hmm. um, to, to have another location here in Idaho. And um, it's, it's far enough away from our other store that, you know, they don't compete with each other. But just to keep spreading the sweetness. Yeah. Just kind of keep getting, <laughs> yes. it, getting it out there. And, um, boy, Meridian's really welcomed us with Good. open arms, and we're just really happy to be there. Opening up that location gave us the ability to do the build-out for, for that store with a commercial kitchen. So we have, um, you know, machinery in there that I can temper 35 pounds of chocolate oh at goodness. a time. And so we, we fill all of our cases and all of our stores through that. As we, you know, honor and celebrate Small Business Week, what would your message be to folks about the importance of shopping small? You know, um, it, it, it really helps the community. Yeah. Um, because it adds kind of diversity and interest and fun things to do and explore. Mm -hmm. You know, our store, we have it set up like, um, we like to say there's an adventure around every little corner. And it's just a fun place to come. And we've found that our communities that we went into really value that. Good, good. Yeah. What are you guys most known for? I think Justin's getting a tight shot. What do we have here? Uh, yes, so our marshmallow pops are very popular. And um, oh. these are chocolate dipped gummy bears. If you've never had one of those, never. they're delicious. Okay. And you know, honeycomb, it's a very old fashioned candy and it's a light crispy toffee and we enrobe it in both milk and dark chocolate oh and we gosh. have people come from all over for that. I'm drooling. In our English <laughs> toffee. So I mean really, and this is just a small sampling of what we have, what we carry in our very large chocolate case. I'm curious how quickly how you got into this field. Well, um, of chocolate or just candy? Candy. In candy, you know, Joe and I, my husband Joe and I, we work together, we own the, the stores. And, um, you know, we both grew up with neighborhood candy stores. Yeah. Even though we didn't live, we lived in two different parts of the United States, but we remembered walking to the candy store. Mm. And so that's why all of our stores are located in neighborhoods where people can walk, ride their bikes, gather, have fun. It's very multi-generational. We always say that it's for everyone. You wow. know, it's not some, just a specific yes. group of people. It really is a store for everybody. That's perfect. I yeah. cannot wait to dive into this uh, <laughs> when we go into this commercial break. Debbie, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, and best of luck to you. Well, we are back with more you. than news at 4 after this.